knocking the levels down a little bit from where they were this weekend because of the rain that's coming in here, but they're gradually going to work their way back up as we head through the middle part of the week. Not the high levels, but staying moderate here for the next couple of days. Temperatures in the 50s right now will stay in the 50s today, tracking some rain out there too, with a few downpours from Rutland stretching back up to Princeton and Lemonster and Fitchburg. This extends in through Groton and Pepperell, up through Tingsboro, a little bit of light rain too. And the farther east you go, there are some pockets of showers. So it is a damp start to the day in these areas of rain will continue at times periodically. You see it does extend all the way back into central New York with the front that's approaching the northeast here. So, yeah, you want the weather, weather gear. There will be lulls in the action today, but I can't rule out pretty much a shower at any point. And then you notice by the evening, some steady or light rain fills back in. Could even be an isolated thunderstorm along the south coast later this evening. Temperature-wise, we're in the 50s and we're staying in the 50s. Kind of a cool, raw feel. Temperatures about 10 degrees below where they should be. Cloudy with patchy fog tonight and some leftover showers. Lows in the 50s, steady as she goes. But tomorrow, as the sun breaks out, we'll see a response, right? Low 70s through the interior, even a couple mid 70s where the most sun peaks out. 60s at the coastline with an onshore wind. And then we actually watch one more wave that comes by. Tuesday night into Wednesday. It's going to come close to the Cape and Islands. So I think on Wednesday morning, there may be clouds and some showers, but improvement through the day as the sun does break out temporarily. And then the next disturbance comes in for Thursday and Friday. So it is admittedly a bit of an unsettled week ahead. Temperatures, though, after. Hi, everyone. Hope you had an awesome weekend weather wise. Certainly cooperative for both our Saturday and Sunday. Now we're kind of going in an opposite direction here, but at least some of the wet weather that's around will knock the pollen count down just a little bit. To moderate levels. It was extremely high this past weekend. So, allergy sufferers here, we're getting a little bit of a relief as we head throughout the middle part of the week, the next several days. Rain coming through with the disturbance that's pressing from west to east. There's more rain down to the south. So, we're not done yet. We're going to have periodic rain and showers today, and temperatures stay pretty steady, about 50 to 55 for many of us, right on through the course of the afternoon. And those temperatures will stay steady in the 50s overnight tonight. So some steady rain fills back in late afternoon and evening, and it will be around for your evening commute. It's not a pouring rain. It's light to moderate for the most part. There may be some downpours, particularly along the south coast to Cape Cod. Cloudy skies, patchy fog, showers tonight, lows in the 50s. Tomorrow, some improvement, 60s and 70s return. Onshore wind, little sea breeze kicking us uh, in, keeping us in the 60s at the coast. Low to mid 70s through the interior. There may be an early morning shower on Cape Cod tomorrow, and then one more wave goes by Tuesday night and Wednesday. Notice the heaviest rain offshore. If this comes a little closer, we may see a little more rain on Wednesday morning. But right now, I think the Cape and Islands get into some light activity Wednesday morning that's out of here, and the rest of Wednesday will be dry and partly sunny. Then to end the week, we get more unsettled weather. So today's the coolest day in the seven day forecast. A couple of raindrops from time to time this weekend. It looks like the greatest risk would be Sunday into Memorial Day. But even at that, maybe like a 30 to 40% chance of a shower, not a washout as it looks right now. But of course, we'll keep you posted as we kind of iron out the details of this upcoming weekend. Hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you again tomorrow morning for WBZ This Morning.